Hey hi hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It is a Thursday morning now and it's 7 a.m. I'm gonna get some work done, walk on my treadmill just starting off. I signed up for a workout class at 9 a.m. So not as early as I would like, but it's my favorite instructor. And all she had open was her 9 a.m. So I'm gonna get some movement in now, try my best to finish this vlog that's going up today. I have a lot of client work I have to do. Let's get to it. I'm gonna set up my treadmill. It's really easy. All you do is turn it on. I also, this is the brand that I have. Mine's like over two years old. So the ones that I link on Amazon are the newer versions. You're, those are like the nice ones. Mine's like, well, it still works great, but it's just bulkier and like doesn't look like the ones that I linked, if you're confused, if you like order the ones that are linked, they're all the same manufacturer, like the brand just changes. Don't even feel like you have to get this one, this brand, just like shop whatever is cheapest and look at the reviews and then also Facebook market. This is really funny. Every time I turn on this treadmill, Indy will come running through the door. Just wait. So my remote. There she is, I knew it would happen. Why are you crazy? And she's like so enthralled by it. And she just sits in her bed while I work. <laughs> Finished walking on the treadmill, editing. I have about like 15 minutes left to edit. I just changed because I'm gonna head to a Pilates class. I'm wearing my other Splits 59 set. So cute, I'm gonna just go to an easy Pilates class. Just finished. Okay, just finished my Pilates class. It was really good. I'm wearing my other Splits 59 workout set and it held up great. I love this brand. Definitely a, a favorite. I just posted TikTok of my Whole Foods haul that you guys saw yesterday. So, and you guys got the little sneak peek first. I have to return those Abercrombie dresses. So I might go to the mall to do that. It's only 10.30, so it's still early. I hate going to the mall, like, and it's during a weekday, which will be nice. I'm hoping, like, it's not gonna be busy. I might do that. I'm tired today, can you tell? Maybe I'll get a coffee. No, I'm really trying not to buy coffee out. That's, like, a goal that I'm having with myself. I also just, like, like how my coffee tastes at home. So I'm, every time I get my hair done, my front pieces, like we do a little blonder, like it's called like a money piece, and I get breakage. I also have new growth from my Nutrafol, so I think it's like a combo of breakage and new growth. Um, so I don't know, I had like one random piece over here. If you see that, just ignore it, please. We're aware and we're working on it. I'm gonna see, look up how far the mall is from here and then there's two malls. There's the Galleria, which has like a lot of good designer stores. But I don't think they have a Abercrombie. I need to look that up, but I know Memorial City does. I am going to go to Memorial City Mall, which is just another mall a little further away in Houston. Because um, they only have the Abercrombie. I didn't realize that Galleria, like the main mall in Houston, doesn't have an Abercrombie. I'm like, y'all need to work on that. Because they have such good stores. Regardless, I'm at Walgreens now because I want to run in. And I want to see if they have that viral mango candy that you like peel i don't know if you've been seeing it on tiktok i you guys know like i eat 90 percent of my food is whole foods and then sour candy and like gummy candy is just <sighs> making sour candy grapes like where i can work it in in like a little healthier aspect i try to but then there's just some things where i need the real deal and i think that's a completely normal way to live because i do eat whole foods 85 90 percent of the time luckily i have a healthy relationship with it now but like back in the day i used to never allow myself to have sour candy i'd be like i can't have it in the house because i know i'm gonna eat it all which i would back in the day but i've worked on myself and my relationship with food and i think that's a very 
normal thing to talk about. A lot of dietitians actually go into dietetics as a field because they've dealt with histories of like restrictive eating or eating disorders or things like that. Then throughout their schooling, they realize that they do have these unhealthy tendencies and then they kind of pivot towards being a more well-balanced dietitian. So I met a lot of people who have dealt with that kind of stuff and it's great because now they want to help other people who are dealing with it. And I used to have a really restrictive mindset. I obviously work with a professional if you are dealing with restrictive eating or eating disorder or anything like that working with a professional dietitian to help you with that is a great motive i work with a lot of my clients on restrictive mindsets and just like working through that and i'm so empathetic to it because i've been there but long story short i used to be like that with my sour candy and i've worked on myself and with my relationship with it where now i can have it in the house and have a couple here and there all that to say is that your mindset can change and if you guys want to work together let me know i do mostly work with brides as of right now i'm full on all my brides but i am trying to work on something to be able to help more people because i keep getting messages or people filling out my forms being like i really want to work with you but i'm not getting married and I need to figure out a way, whether that's bringing on more dietitians to my team or creating just like a, I don't know, like something you can just purchase that has all of my tips and tricks, just everything I've ever said basically in there. We're still working on it, but if you have any feedback, I would love to hear your feedback um, because I do want to help everyone. And that's why I became a dietitian. That's why I love being on social media is because I'm able to help so many people. And I think I do provide a lot of free information. When I do work with clients on a paid capacity, I never want to take too many patients on or clients on where I can't give them my everything. I'm, if you ask my girls, I'm like, Barry, I'm like, you want to hop on a call? We'll hop on a call. I respond to their texts. Like we are talking all the time. Um, but I do want to find something else that's a little bit more in the middle for the majority. So let me know if you have any ideas. But we're going to run in and see if they have it. If not, we'll head out. I might get a Celsius too. I'm really feeling it, guys. So I'm just get like a craving for a Celsius. I haven't had any coffee. I really don't like to have a Celsius on days that I've also had a coffee or any other type of caffeine because it gets crazy. And I usually only drink half of it at a time. But I do like it. It gives me a nice little whoop. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, they have the really cool fridges in here. You can see what's in there. Perfect. Oh, they have Alani's also. I actually really like this flavor of Alani. I might do that. Yeah. Yay. All right, let's see if they have it. It's the nice brand. I don't see it. Is there a spot for it? I don't think so. I haven't found it anywhere, guys. While we're here, I actually do need another Maybelline Fit Me concealer. This is like such a May nice red like My favorite drugstore foundation, Revlon Color Stay. And then I love these are the e.l.f. Halo glows. I'm usually fair light. I'm, I feel like it might be a little... Oh no, I'm light medium, which I feel like looks orange. I might switch to medium or fair light. I do fair light. Because medium looks a little deep, yeah. We'll, tr we'll try this one. I'm almost out, so it's perfect. And then Maybelline Fit Me, guys. This is my issue. I come in for one thing, they don't have it, and then I'm like, oh, well, I need this. <laughs> Okay, it's fine. I didn't buy coffee out. I'm getting this. It's only two dollars instead of a five dollar coffee. Whatever. It's, I can rationalize anything at this point. Have you guys heard of this brand? Ella and Mila? I want to start doing builder gel at home, but that's another another story for another day. I also love these. Do they have the pink one? They have like a I don't see it. Oh, is this pink? No. They have like a pink shade that's really good for brightening. But I like the Maybelline Fit Me in 10 Fair. So I'm gonna grab one of these. God, why is drugs for makeup kind of getting expensive? Oh God, okay, wait, I need to put you down. These look really cool, these shadow stacks. I haven't heard anyone talk about it. I wanna try that Perry Street one that's obviously gone. But I'm looking for like a really pretty pink they're really cool. Like they're like this, and you go one shadow, two shadow, three shadow. 
out of Walgreens. You guys saw what I got, but I got a little energy drink. I just love how that they taste. I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, I got the Elf in Fair Light. Usually I get light medium, but I, sometimes I feel like it pulls orange, so I'm gonna try this. And then just a restock of my Maybelline Fit Me 10 Fair. Love that stuff. It's like 30 bucks, not too bad. We're on Abercrombie now. This is one of those moments where you guys might judge me, but this is why I keep this in the car. I know, I know, sorry, it's gross. Tuna Creations, I get it. If you think it's gross, it's fine. But it's able to stay in the car. It's obviously not too hot. I have, I have a bunch of these tuna packs and meat sticks in my car, just for like moments like this where I'm running around after a workout and I'm hungry. And I just have silverware in my front. So this just helps me prevent from stopping somewhere and like spending more money and eating out. This has 15 grams of protein in this one little pack. This is the ranch flavor, but I just stock up on them when they're on sale. They're usually like two for a dollar or something. And I just I have this one in here, lemon pepper. Oh, I also have some almonds. So I just, and my meat stick. These are just some snacks I keep on me in my car. So, and then I have my face spray to spray after my workouts to kill all the bacteria. Hydrochloric acid. Then my hair perfume and my body perfume that I shared. Always stay strapped, you know? I have a little almond and some tuna. Almonds and tuna. <laughs> and Alani. That's what I'm saying. 80%, 20%. Just parked at the mall. Of course, we have to enter through the Target because that is just, of course, no questions asked. I am going to Naples, so if I see anything in Abercrombie or Target that I think could be like, beachy fun, then I'll entertain it. But that's it, because I'm getting money back. I'm actually making money today with this return because like, I actually need psychological help. <laughs> also, I have no makeup on, but my skin's been glowing. Oh! I don't wanna hear it. Yes, I'm in the shoe section. Look how cute these are. These look so high end. And they're memory foam. They don't have them in my size, so I just ordered them. But what do you think about this? I feel like this top is just good to have like a comfy linen button up. I got a size medium. I like it, I think. For like swimsuits, it's just like easy summer. I wish the pockets, I wonder if I could just cut the pockets out. Look at this, is a definite, yes. It's like a knit material. See that with this little, oh, it's so cute. I'm just cute with some like heeled sandals. Little summer date night, but right, here's it in black. Getting the little rosette, my little. So I feel like this would be a really cute like dinner outfit with some like strappy sandals. <gasps> okay, guys, thoughts on this little jean jumpsuit? Is it cute or is it giving mechanic? <laughs> I've always wanted like a one piece jumpsuit in denim. Is it flattering or no? I like that it ties because it can like cinch. Just some like sneakers to run around or you could like dress it up. Okay, well, um, this is the yes pile. I'm gonna take them home, try them on again, and then I'll return. I do have a gift card too for Target. They sent me one like way back when. I think it was like a hundred dollars. So that's good, I'll use that. That's all I'm rationalizing. Things escalated quickly, now we're in Mango. Guys, who was gonna tell me that Mango has such cute stuff? This is cute, you guys. I feel like it's a little big, it's really stretchy. It's a size small, but it's very stretchy. This little skirt is so cute. A little cargo, this little white. These sandals are so cute, but they're uncomfortable. Okay, I'm gonna get the green shirt, the green sunglasses, the green skirt, and this white vest. Cause I'm not gonna get the jumpsuit or the white. No, they're so cute. Okay guys, I just got back. And look at this package. It says frozen, so I'm assuming there's pizzas in here, which is exciting. So we'll open that, but I'm gonna get a little mid midday poppy. Or a little beverage, maybe an iced tea? I don't know, what am I feeling? Poppy or... 
I don't think I've actually tried this green tea from Half Day. <laughs> Hi, baby. So we'll try this. Sit outside. Try this. A couple emails I have to answer. Okay. Come on. So I ended up having to stop at a coffee shop because I had a couple calls that I had to do and I had to like screenshot analytics and stuff. Um, so stopped at a Starbucks and hung out there for like two hours because it was just like a lot. Now I'm home and it's 3.30. I just made a quick little wrap and then I had some cottage cheese on the side. Random, random lunch, but I completely forgot to film it because I was starving because I did not plan to be out that long. This stuff is good. It has like a little bit of an aftertaste, but it's it tastes like tea. I feel like if I put like some lemon in it, like fresh lemon, it would be good. This is green tea with honey and ginseng. And there's a butterfly. Every time I see a butterfly, I think of Herman. Yeah, but today was just got busy randomly, so I still have to finish editing. I have like 15 minutes, I think, left. I'm glad I got a head start this morning because it's been crazy. We'll see when I pick the camera up next. Maybe when we're making dinner. I don't know what we're gonna make. Maybe a bonza pizza <laughs> and try one out. Cause we've been cooking the last couple days, like big meals. Matt might not go to the gym today. He might take a rest day. It'd be great, a little pizza. We've been watching The Gentleman on Netflix. It's a interesting show. I can't explain it. Like, I don't know. The vibe is kind of like, it's like quirky. I don't know how to describe it. If you've watched it, let me know. Recess is starting. Well, it's 3.30, so maybe like after school program. Let's open it up, Let's see what we got. You guys know I love Bonza's pasta, so I'm super excited. I'm assuming this is pizza because it's frozen. There's ice in here. Oh, cute. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been wanting to try their pizza. Thank you, Bonza. I would love to work with Bonza one day. Sick. <gasps> okay. Yay. Okay, so we have just plain pizza crusts, two of them. This one is roasted veggies, and all of these have the pizza made from chickpeas. So if you guys don't know, Bonza is like chickpea flour based, so there's really high protein and high fiber. So well, if you're gonna eat half of it, it's gonna have 16 grams of protein and six grams of fiber. It's just, that's roasted veggie. This is the margarita. And this is the four cheese, yum. One of these for dinner with our, we have a salad kit in there. So we might do that, just keep it easy, simple. Gotta pop these in the freezer. Oh, these are from Amazon. They're just little sandals. Oh my God, cute. This little one shoulder black knit top. Stripe pants, these are all from h and by the way. Okay, I love them. Wide leg. Oh, okay. This cute little dress with shoulder pads. Black linen pants. Oh, and this looks like a bathing suit cover up, I was thinking. Like with like a black bikini. I feel like this could be cute. Yeah, even with these shoes, this would be cute. Whole outfit. Fine, all right, well thank you to Bonza, Amazon. I'm just eating leftover cold <laughs> artichokes right now a little snack if you guys don't know how to eat an artichoke you basically steam it so that this inside of the leaves gets soft you don't eat the leaf it's kind of like edamame with like you don't eat the pod just fed in deep snacking on some of our Sour grapes, Matt just tried one, he said they're also sour. <laughs> Let me see your teeth. Oh. <laughs> Let me look at her teeth show. Andy. She's begging for these. I'm like, these will literally kill you. You'll die. We can't have that. <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna try them on in tomorrow's vlogmas. Not vlogmas, vlog week, hi baby. Because I'm gonna shower and self-tan tonight so I'll like actually look cute. I can't try things out when I look like crap. That's just like self-sabotage. Matt's gonna take a rest day from the gym and we're gonna go on a family walk with Indy. And then we'll make our pizza, salad, 
and call a night. I'm back from my walk and I'm making the pizza. Show you. We're gonna do the roasted, the roasted veggie bonza pizza. And then to bulk it up, I just added some of this bomba sauce. If you guys remember our, our viral spicy pizza, this is like a calabrian chili paste from Trader Joe's. It's so good. And then I also quartered up some of these Amy Lou meatballs on top. And we're gonna put it in the oven. These are already cooked fully, so you don't have to worry about like them not. They're just crisping up in the oven, so it's perfect. And then we're gonna top it with arugula, balsamic glaze, hot honey, and we're gonna have a salad kit on the side. Random sweet Asian one. Salad is put together, pizza's in the oven. We have some arugula here. I'm gonna top it with arugula when it comes out, balsamic glaze, and hot honey. And that's how we kind of make it our own. So we had the Calabrian chili paste, the meatballs, the arugula. So we had a little extra protein, a little extra veg, and then some extra flavors. If you guys don't like spice, do not try the Calabrian chili paste or do this. You can do regular honey if you want. All right, well, here's the final product. Can you believe that's a frozen pizza? The meatballs under there got nice and brown. I did 15 minutes total. So I did 12 at 425 in the last three minutes I did broil. Here's the final. Some nights you have fresh caught fish that you caught yourself and other nights you have frozen pizza and a salad kit. Yum. I'm ending the night making my little nighttime latte I added. I did mostly water and then I did probably probably three quarters water, a little bit of milk, and then I still left from the top because I'm steaming more milk, but this will make the actual tea part a little thicker. I also added a little bit of stevia. We're gonna watch, what is it called, The Gentleman? Yeah. We're gonna watch another episode of The Gentleman and then call it a night. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll talk to you tomorrow.